In this lesson, we will show you how to upgrade your Elastic Search Engine to the latest supported version by ALM Octane 15.1.40. With the latest version, ALM Octane supports newer Elastic Search version, which includes the version 7.9.1. And actually, this is um, currently one of the latest version there is another version out 7.10 but this is the version we are going to upgrade to i know many customers have been started using 6.8.x version so here it is important that you maybe do this upgrade of elasticsearch not in parallel to a opt-in upgrade let's do it before you upgrade your ALM Octane environment and make sure everything is uh, smoothly upgraded on the Elasticsearch side. So this is my environment where I have installed Elasticsearch 6.8.1. It has been downloaded as a zip file and then been extracted and configured here and installed as a service. So we can see here it is installed as a service and based on this um, ALM Octane is running. So the first thing I have to do is I will download now the version 7.9.1 for Elastic and also for Windows. And once I do this, it will download the zip file for me, which is configured here under downloads and here i can see this is my zip file which has been downloaded already and i can extract this zip file to the place i would like to have the installation for elastic running so basically in my case it will be c and the name of elastic with the version of elastic so let's extract it and we will continue there so the zip file has been extracted to the desired location. And what I need to do next is I need to copy the config wherever it is, uh, or you need to point to the right configuration and data file for your Elasticsearch. In my case, it's only one node and everything is in the same folder where um, the installation runs for Elastic. So what I will do is I will copy these two folders into the Elastic uh, new installation folder. So copy has been completed. Um, so as a next step, what I need to do is I need to make sure that this Elasticsearch service is uh, uninstalled, the one which was uh, related to the older version. Yeah. So let's go first of all into the command line, run it as admin. And I need to go to the old place where the installation file is and the service was installed. So it was in the Elasticsearch bin. And from here I could say Elasticsearch minus service. And I think it should be remove. So let's refresh. So this is the first thing which is now completed. And now go to the latest elastic file elastic yaml so i'm running a minimal minimum uh, configuration with this is my cluster name my node name and my network host the ip address in this case i have set uh, port is default and for there is a new parameter in 7.9 uh, compared to the 6.8 which is cluster initial master nodes uh, where I have only one node, so I have set this one. So this is important. It uh, will uh, need to be adapted. So you make sure that this is adapted in your case. And now save this file and register Elastic now. So let's go to the newest installation, which was 7.9.1. Go to the bin folder and register the Elastic Search service by installing it. 
first of all. Let's install it and it says the service has been installed. So this is first of all a good news. We have installed the latest version of Elastic. So let's start it from here. Okay, it fails for now. Let's see what the issue is. In this case, we need to go to the logs folder. And in the logs folder, I will now open the error log. And timestamp is here. I can see exactly what was the issue. It is the conf um, system property is not set. So this is a very weird error. Um, I had to research a lot. And the solution for this one is to first of all add a uh, environment variable and this goes for windows environment variable um, which is as underscore java underscore opts and put this value in let me show it to you correctly once again we go for variables And this is the first variable I had to set. So here, espath.home, then the variable esHome, and you set the conf uh, for the path property to the espathConf variable. espathConf variable has the variable where your Elasticsearch configuration file lies. So this is also important. You have to change from the, if you are doing it in the same manner what I have done, you have to change it to the newest version. And same goes for the Elastic Home. And then you have the heap size, the initial heap size is 4G at my uh, environment. So that's basically it. And one more thing which you have to add here is you if your service is not running you have to add this line into your into your um, installation uh, before you install your service and it should be added in the elastic search service dot bot before the executable is being called at line 205 so now we go here in the Elasticsearch service.bat, which is in your installation bin folder, Elasticsearch service.bat. Open it with a editor, locate the line 205, press enter, and above the line before you just enter this line. If not, es underscore java underscore ops then it is empty so if it's not empty then set es java ops to es java ops and exactly with this um, um, with this two semicolon equals one semicolon percentage you have to enter it in this format i will put this uh, in the video down below in the description so you can copy and paste it from there once you have done it just save the file and do the installation of the service again. So it has been installed. So I will now remove it and install it again. So it has been installed successfully. And now I will start the service. Let's refresh start same error let's do it again and check what is wrong this time so i have to look for the log again so let's go back to the logs the error and it says the same error okay so i go back here to my installation service installation file and what I also found out is um, 
this line need to be copied at the line number 134 as well. Yeah, so it need to be copied directly after this line. If not, Java opts uh, equals empty. Then set it with Java opts. And after this, you exactly paste the same line. And I will write it again in the description. Um, let's save it and do it again. Remove, install. And let's do a start from here. So service has been started. This looks good. Let's see. Yes, it has been started. And now let's start ALM Octane to see if it is coming up. So Octane has been started as well. And I can go now to the Octane environment and wait until the service is up and running. So let's see if Octane is now up and running. Yes, so we are in. And it looks like I'm in the environment, yeah. So it's uh, logging me in into the demo project, demo workspace. So this looks good. We are in the pipelines module. On the last place we have left Octane, let's go to the issues module and it's able to find the different defects. I will just update one. Change here and change in name. So let's say here change. Save it. Defect is saved. And I can see it basically. So this um, shows that the Elastic upgrade was successfully uh, performed and LM is, Octane is uh, up and running with the latest version.